that stayed, we really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to uh, introduce uh, some of the CEOs of companies that have reached um, the last level of development and the first level of the company, um, which is something that for me, uh, being in this industry for quite a long time, is very nice to see that we have here a bunch of companies and a bunch of CEOs that have gotten there. I remember, I, I don't want to say my age, but I remember from, <laughs> from long ago, I remember from long ago that uh, we were always like one or two companies that were actually selling something. Uh, and it was, um, and it's very nice to see that this industry uh, ophthalmology here in Israel is growing up so nicely and people are actually getting uh, to this stage and we have a lot of companies I think that are going to get there in the, in the next few years. Um, so really, um, really it's, it's, it's nice to see and it's also for me very nice to see the way um, all those CEOs are interacting between one another. Um, I think it's very unique. I think it's unique uh, in Israel and it's unique also in the world that we have such collaboration uh, between people that you might say um, could be competing to one another, uh, but here it looks like everybody's trying to help everyone. And I think it's, uh, it's beautiful to see. So saying all that, I'll give Neil uh, CEO of Sanokuli. So hello again. Uh, it's my honor to present at the OIS and thank you for the your attention. Uh, I will present today a unique approach to glaucoma treatment which is stentless and potentially can cover all patients who require surgery for mild to severe glaucoma. It consists of two uh, Product MIMS, which stands for Minimally Invasive Microsclerostomy, and MINT, which stands for Minimally in, uh, Invasive Nasal Trabeculostomy. Let's see a short video clip describing our technology, which is comprised of foot reads, controller, and disposable handpiece unit, with a tiny trefine that goes out and backward to create the channel that we do. We can do MIMS supranasal or infranasal in cases uh, of a failed trap where the upper lid is already scared. The procedure goes like this. The physician places himself at the correct position, press the foot switch to create the sclerostomy, a channel that uh, um, um, between the AC and the subconscious space. Mint uh, minimally invasive nasal trabeculostomy. You can see the uh, uh, flow chart. And the procedure here, we are creating tiny channels into the, uh, through the TM to the Schlems canal in order to uh, uh, reduce the IOP. We, are, we can do uh, several uh, uh, channels, as you can see here in the uh, video clip, to drain the aquas to the uh, Schlems canal. Um, just to be uh, more specific, you saw two products. The difference between them is how long the trefine protrudes from its uh, sleeve. In MIMS, uh, the trefine is going out 2.7 millimeter in order to create the sclerostomy. And in MINT, the trefine is going out uh, only half millimeter in order to create tiny channels into the Schlems canal. As mentioned uh, at the beginning, um, the two products, MIMS and MINT, potentially cover the entire glaucoma population that requires surgery. A mint for a trabeculostomy and means for sclerostomy. It can be done supranasal or infranasal in failed uh, trabeculectomy cases using the same stentless approach. We operated uh, with MIMS on 120 patients under post-market study protocol. 20 were combined with cataract. And uh, you can see that the IOP was reduced by 38% uh, and the average number of medications by 85% after one year. 
and uh, by 38 and 73 percent at three years. These pictures prove the concept of NIMS. You can see a very good example, same patient and same channel after one year and after three years, uh, still function uh, with great results compared to the baseline. This uh, distribution chart uh, illustrates that after three years, about 40% of the patient had IOP between 6 to 15, and about 50% had IOP of uh, 16 to 20, with 70% uh, of them required no medications. In terms of success, the FDA de defined a success as a 20% reduction of IOP, at least, with the same or less amount of medication. So you can see that all patients together, standalone and combined with cataract surgery, we succeed 81% success. Uh, the combined patients uh, were with 100% success, and the standalone means uh, with 76% uh, success. Same goes with MINT. We operated on 66 patients. Uh, the IOP was reduced by 35% and the average number of medications was reduced by 76% after one year follow-up. In this picture, you can see how it looks like the trabeculostomy channels that we do uh, in cross-section and in longitudinal <coughs> section. And again, the distribution chart illustrates that 60% of the patient had uh, between 6 to 15 millimeter of mercury and 40% had uh, between 16 to 20 at six months and 12 months post-op consistently. We can also see that the uh, MEDS distribution chart uh, that 86% at six months were without any medications at all and 82% at 12 months. In terms of success, uh, same uh, definition of success, we can see that we had 92% uh, success, qualified success, and complete success of 78% with no medications at all. What ahead of us, we are about to launch an IDE FDA study with uh, 129 uh, patients with a 12 months follow-up um, to uh, uh, demonstrate the efficacy and safety of uh, our MIMS device. In order to implement the potential of uh, MIMS and MINT, uh, Sanofi Ulis teamed up with uh, Bosch and Lom to include these uh, tools in Bosch and Lom FECO machine, one which will be able to address standalone and combined with cataract surgeries. Um, Sanofi Ulis is proud of its scientific advisory board members, which will help the company in its quest to achieve success globally. This sums up my presentation today, and I will be happy to answer any questions afterwards. Thank you very much.